let us continue from where we stopped last week. Katuwe yongere okuva we twakoma Sunday we. In a few minutes. Katugavane mudachi kasinyinji. So that we can get into the second service. Orono tusogologe na service edako. Last week. Sunday we day. We shared about the rebirth of the spirit. We shared and we saw that when man was created, man fell short of God's glory. So man sinned when he sinned God God, God took away these three. Katonda najjawo ebintu bino ebisatu. He took away the authority. Yajjawo obuyinza. He took away the, the, the image he had created him in the glory. Najjawo ne chifana chali amutonde de chechitibwa. So God took away this. Kati bino katonda yabijjawo. And God planned. Kati katonda na kolente kate. How he can save man again. Ya solo kudamu kununuru omuntu. Because he had banished him from his presence. Kubanga ya niya mugobi okufa mkubera okwe. Man lost the position. Omuntu na firu echi foche. He lost the authority. Na firu obu yinza. He lost God's glory. Na firu echi tiba cha katonda. Because he had lost the position. Kubanga ya niya firu echi fo. God's glory. Na echi tiba cha katonda. And he had lost authority. Nga nobu yinza umuvu deko. Man was useless. Kati omuntu nga tachari and he was because those are the things that could help him dominate because he was created to dominate so when man sinned Romans 3 23 says that we all fell short of God's spirit because of one man Adam when one man Adam sinned all mankind sinned so for that reason we were thrown off away we were banished from the garden we were thrown into the outcasts of the world but God by his grace and mercy he fashioned the the, the salvation plan. When he fashioned it, in this plan, God was to regenerate the spirit of man. Yes, he was to regenerate the spirit of man. Regeneration is rebirth. And this was not a physical birth. It was a spiritual birth. So last week, but be, 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 being reborn is all, all, all what we call rebirth. It is what we call being born again. It is what we call being born again. And, and when you are born again, what does it mean? That this is a new birth of a spirit, of a spiritual, uh, which is spiritual, it is holy and heavenly birth. It is a heavenly birth. It is not this earthly birth. We saw, it, we saw it last week. In, in the book of John. Uh, it was chapter 3. Yes, we saw the man Nicodemus going to Jesus at night. He had issues on how a person can be born. Can he go back into his mother's womb? Can he go back into his mother's womb? He can be reborn again. Jesus told Nicodemus. Yes, no Nicodemus. That's not what I mean. Being born again is 
you being born of the water and the spirit. Your spirit is regenerated. So when we give our lives to Jesus, our lives are rebirthed. Our spiritual being is rebirthed. Why is he rebirthed? Because he experienced death. On that day he sinned. So since ma when man is sinned, he experienced what we call spiritual death. He experienced what Yaku when he experienced death in the spirit, so man has been a dead, live, a dead moving body. Yes. Maybe. He has been a dead body moving. A, de a dead living body. Moving. So when he spiritually died, God the only way how he could bring back life to man. Because what experienced death was the spirit of man. Man had to be reborn again in Kati, the spirit. What we call salvation being saved being a child of God it is a sign that you were born again. The day you confessed Christ as your Lord and Savior your spirit regains life again. The life that was created in the garden of Eden. Before Adam sinned. But after Adam sinned. Man experienced what we call spiritual death. He experienced what we call when Adam sinned, man experienced what we call spiritual death. So we were Deadly, dead people moving. We can see this in the words of Jesus. One, one day, one of his disciples he lost his father. When he lost his father, his father died in the body. And they are going to bury him. Jesus, this disciple came. And he asked Jesus. That Jesus, my Lord. Allow me go to our home. That I may bury my father. He told him. Let the dead. Bury their own dead. Bazika bafuba abwe. Abafuba zika bati abafu. How do the dead he was bury their own dead? He was dead? telling them. Yali abagamba. You are a living person spiritually. Let those who are still dead spiritually. Tideka baba chali abafu mumoyo. Go and bury the dead who is who has died in the body. Bagende bazike o yafude mumubiri. But you who is living, na yegu omulam, continue doing the works of your living. Genda ngo kola emini mujoyo omulam mugwe ngo kola emini mweji obulam. Still doing what you are supposed to do. Sigala ngo kola shote keduo kukola. As a living person spiritual. Ngo omuntu omulam mumoyo. Brothers and sisters, aboru ganda banyinazi. The life we experience, obulam mwe tu itam, is not the other old life we use. Sibwe obulam mwe tu habanga mwabu kade. No. Nedda. The life we are living is a divine life. A life that has been rebirthed. 
kubiri is a life you will never regret to live in bwe bulamu bwotaliye jusa kububera because it is a life kubanga bulamu bwadala that's why i pity sometimes chovola balumu nsasira nyo sometimes i pity some people olumu nsasira nya abantu who have come to this life abazeri obulamu buno and they don't know where they came atene batategera waje bajja they have came to this life but they are still living a double standard life they are living this side but still interested in the life they used to live Jesus said, yes, you cannot get a new cross and you put on a, an old patch. It is impossible. It is impossible. This new life must tear down the old life that we may live this new life. This is a spiritual life. Life focused on heavenly things. Amen. Amen. As you see physical life, physical life, physical birth, Okuzalibwa kuno kwa mubiri is new individual born into the into the earth. Aba muntu mupya azalidwa kwegatta kubali munsi. But spiritual birth. Na yo kuzalibwa kwa moyo is a new person entering heavenly realms. Kati ye muntu mupya ayingira munsi ne yo moyo yo muguru. The physical birth. Kati okuzalibwa kwa mubiri it is you getting into the world. Gwe kwe kuyingira munsi nawe no bera. The spiritual earth. Na yato kuzali wa kuomoyo is you getting into the heavenly realm. Gwe kwe kuyingira nawe no bera mu kitundu kubye kubeguru being part of the heaven. Okubere kitundu kubeguru as you were born in the physical. Ngabo wazali wa mubiri and you became part in this world. No fuka kitundu ku nsikuno and actually you are growing up. Atera ngo gendo okula. That's the same thing. Kati yengeri yem when you experience a new birth. Bo funo bulamu buno bupya which is a spiritual birth. Ngabo you, 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 you enter into the heavenly realm. So whatever you do, whatever you focus on, is heavenly. And whatever you, you, you lay your hands on, it should be heavenly. Tell your neighbor, being it that you were born physically, you exist here on earth. But because you are born again, now you are accounted on heavenly things. Like when you are born in this world. You, you, in the hospital where you have been born. You are given a certificate of birth. Birth certificate. Even us. The day you give. You, 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 you are reborn. In, 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 the, in the heavenly realm. You are registered in the book of life. You have a spiritual birth certificate. A person without that certificate. We uh, will never enter heaven. We will never enter heaven. The password to heaven is a spiritual, is a spiritual birth certificate. That's why in the book of Revelation, it says that the 
blessed are those whose names were written in the book of life. The day you give your life to Christ, the day you come to Christ, the day your spirit is born, is the day your name is written in the book of life. Your name is written in the book of life. But this is what the problem is this. Can you be crossed out? When your name was written. Can it be wiped out? Is it possible? If it is possible, that's why the Bible says, let us work on our salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. Amen. Christ, let us go into the book of second, rather Ephesians chapter five, 2 verses 5. Ephesians 2. Ephesians 2. My Bible, this entire verse has got, uh, the chapter has got a word on, uh, a heading on it. Made alive in Christ. That is the heading on that chapter. Now, chapter 2 says, when we start with verse 1, let us start with verse 1. Then, and be careful and follow. We shall, we, we shall come up with something. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins. Remember this. As this is what is happening. He says, as for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins. Are you not that? On verse 1. What, what, what brought about death? It was transgressions and sins. Transgressions and sin. Verse 2. In which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world under of the ruler of the kingdom of the air. The spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time. Gratifying the cravings of, the, of our flesh and following its desires and hopes. like the rest we were by nature deserving the wrath. Verse 3. But because of his great love God who is rich in mercy made us alive with Christ. That is chapter verses 5. He made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in our transgression. It is by grace you have been saved. When you look at this, it says we were dead in our transgression. We were lost in our transgression. We were in, we were dead in evil. 
Tuhari tuafira mubibi. A person who is doing evil. Omuntu wakole echivi. He is a dead person. Aba mufunga ya fada. He, had, we, we, he says like all of us. Era gama ntingana fefe na. That's where we started. Before. Eyo jetu hata andikira. We were all dead in our transfer. Tuhari wa fufe na nga tuafira mbiono no vya fe. In our sins. Mbiono no vya fe. The way we used to conduct our lives. Engeri jetu we isangamu. It was not of God. It could not create life in us. Nga techire tabula mumu fe. We were dead spirits. Tuhari tuafa mumoyo. And we were deserving the wrath of God. We were all deserving the wrath of God. But this is what he said. Where even when we were dead, slain by our own shortcomings and trespasses, made us alive together in fellowship, in fellowship and in union with the Christ. He gave us the life, the very life of Christ. Look at what is happening. He gave us what he gave us, what we call life, is the very life of Christ. He himself is what he gave us. He took away the life of sin from us, which was dead, in which we were dead. He brought us to life, and he gave us life of Christ himself. And we are no longer live by ourselves, but we live for the sake of Christ. We were completely dead. When I remember of those days. When I used to, to live that dead life. It was a life. Which was scattered everywhere. Scattered everywhere. Scattered of everywhere. Full of every kind of garbage. If I can testify. I was not a living person. You were fine. We were at Chisubi High there. We had a big guy. We had a big guy. We had a big guy. We had a gloomy face. A, a formless face. And everyone knew him. And on, at school, he called himself half dead. And even the teachers could call him. One day, they fought at school. And what happened? They called him into the disciplinary. They told him, We are going to suspend you for three weeks. Then you come back to school. He said, What? He got a bottle. He broke it. He told the deputy, Speak it again. The deputy, deputy, he said, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Tell your neighbor, there are people who are dead. Their lives are dead. Their lives are dead. That same guy. 
He was sent home one day. And the, it was a time of examination. And he was told, go back home. And call your parents. He went back. Now the, he refused to bring the parents. He came back. They asked him, where are the parents? They told him, go back. In fact, we have sent you out of the school. And he had paid his money. For registration. He had paid the school. Fees. Now when he came back, he came at the gate. The school was, was told, Askari nga baamu gambie. That guy never enter school. Oh, yota yingira nga wanu. Now, immediately the guy who entered. Oh, mbubu kabo ya yingira. He just went direct. Ya genda buterevu. Where there is an arrow. Wa wali ya kasari. He got the arrow of the askari. Na kwa taka sari kasari. And he pointed it at him. Na amu gama mkuru. The askari raised it. Olimu wambe ya askari na gama tata tota. He told him. Na amu gama. Now, follow me. Lead me. Kati nkule mbera. He went. And all the school gathered. And all the school gathered. And it was a long stretch. From the gate up to the administration. He took him to the office. And they opened up the door of the, of the deputy. Who had sent him out of the school. He told him, now what has brought me here? I only need my money here. I need my money. Somebody says I'm half dead. Please just get to know, get to know that he's half dead. And he said, I have to leave Amen. Amen. So what happens in our lives before we give our lives to Christ? They are dead lives. We live in every kind of garbage. You are taken up by the by, by, by the desires of your friends. You do whatever you feel. You do whatever you feel. So he says, even when we were dead and slain by our own out shortcomings, we are slain. We are slain. He made us alive together. Fellowship. And in union with Christ. He gave us the very life of Christ. He took away our lives which were dead which were dead in sin. He gave us a life of Christ himself. Now when you are having the life of Christ in you, why do you need to look for the life you used to live? Why do you need to look for the life you used to live? The same new life, the same new life, with which he quickened him for, he quickened him for, it is by grace, his favor and mercy, which you did, which you did not deserve. Remember, we deserved the wrath. What the penalty of sin is death. And we, 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 we were deserving that penalty. But he says, it was by his grace, his favor, 
and you must which you did not deserve you never deserved mercy I never deserved mercy I never deserved to be to, 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 to be mercy I never deserved to be favored I never deserved to be favored but by his grace I was favored and I, I, I took upon myself his life that you are saved. Delivered from judgment and made partakers of Christ's salvation. Um, I am a partaker of Christ. So there is a lot about regeneration. We, we started to share our, about our spirit. Now we are looking at the state of your spirit. We have seen where your spirit started from. How it was created. In which format it was created. What is the material of your spirit? How the spirit sinned and it fell short of God's glory. And now, how, has, how is God bringing back the Katonda, He could bring life in that dead spirit only by giving it the life of Christ. Himself. The life we are living in is a life of Christ. Christ in me is the hope of glory. Christ in me is the life in me. That's why he said, I am the truth, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one can go to the Father unless he goes through me. Unless he allows me and I give him my life. And his life is substituted with my life. Who has ever seen football? Ani ali ala bie kumupira. Who has ever watched football? Ani ali ala bie kumundiba anga bantu wa samba. Wanji? Wanji ke mkono bumi. Wanji? Mwaba kamubake. Mwa samba anga msambi. Now. Kakati. When you have a life. Bobodi no bulam. Let me say, let us go to the pitch. When you watch football, someone gets off. And he gets off from the pitch. And he's substituted with another person. But in, in the laws of football, the person who has been substituted, he never returns back on the field. I only saw it in Ragibe. Ragibe Moka. Oriwa Furuma. And that's not substitution. I tell you, you're a substitute. Eh? Basketball. Basketball. Eh, Monsero, we have a Basketball. Kakati, when this person gets tired, that's not and he gets out. And again he comes back. That's not substitution. That is a change of service. But 
But what we call substitution. When a person gets off from the pitch. There is no way how he can return. It is the final person. Who will go up to the end of the pitch. You get you get to know that. So now this is what happened here. When you look at this, Christ substituted our lives. The life of Christ was sub our dead life was substituted with the life of Christ. Let me repeat this. The life we had, the life of death, was substituted the life of Christ. So Christ in me is that hope of glory. So Christ in me is my future. So Christ in me is my way to heaven. Is my way to eternal life. Christ so Christ in me is in me. Christ is that life in me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we can go a little bit. Because of time, let us stop by that. Then let us stop by that, by that verse. But let me tell you. There are a lot of things. Let us first go to the book of first, Second Corinthians. I, I, we can read also these scriptures. Second Corinthians. Uh, is it chapter 5? Second Corinthians chapter five. Aba Corinthians echo kubiri esula eyokutano. And verses seventeen. No runyiri ore kumino msav. Verses seventeen eighteen. We shall read up to twenty one. For, for the Bible says. Bible yegamba. Therefore. Tinoru echo. If anyone. Any person is ingrafted in Christ. To muntu yena buabanga. Let me read. It. Who has ever seen grafted the plant? Ani aliyala vye kubi mera bino vye bagatta ne basala ne bagatta ke chirala. Come and explain to us. Django chinyo nyole msome sengiri vye bagatta mwe bime ra. Kati ataso masaya ansi jangu. Mugama ibas Babo Luganda. Amen. Thank you so much, Musum. Echigambo grafted, Chite Gezo Kugata, Ebitundu Bibidi. Mukama ibas the For example, in Zokuba, Oina, Omuyembe, Kagogwa, Kagogwa, Vedamu, threads, or a woozy engine, yo. Kati, Tanyuma, yo, Kuria, and a woman, yo, juice. Katino gamba, ntitumugate ne kona, mkama yewa zi. Ugatachi wala, ugatachi chichimera. No, oyagala kugate bintu bibiri ofune mwe chirala. Mm. Kakati, uroku wanga chino chirimu echi, echirungo choyagala, na muli muli mwe echirungo choyagala. Katu ya gachifu kechimu. Kati chiche wakola, badira eo, etabi, elia kona, netabi, elia Eliya kagogwa ne baga teka wa mu like echisoka wansi ne chisemba yo waguru ne babi gata wa mu for example buwebat kati ne basiba oba ne chai oba na kauzi oba ne oba na kavera kati ne bachi simba moku chisimba wano wechikula ofuna mu omuyembe omuru njenyo ngate gusinge bibiri mukama eba ziwa eraba omukisa do you understand that? Gratification. You get a stem of something. Ofuna, the down part of the plant. And you get another side. Ofuna, the branch of it. You cut it. They always cut it 
uh, uh, in, in, in an angle. Katibasala, in a diagonal angle. Gavasala chichami embwechiti. You don't cut it straight. Tosala vuvuot. They cut it diagonal. Bachisala bachichamiza. And then they bring the other part. Nebale tachiria chitundu. Which is the downer part. Echa wansi. And they bring another part from Nebale another part. Nebale ta echirala. Kind of Eche echivude kuchimere echirala. They join them together and they tie that never together. And at, the, at first place, because water cannot come through from the downer stems, they have not bonded together. What they do, they reduce the level of transpiration. So that the, these leaves don't waste a lot of water. So they cover a polythene on the top. So that it does not lose a lot of water. So at the end of the day, after it has bonded together, they remove the polythene and they remove the now this plant starts to grow. It's no longer the downer plant. It's no longer this top plant. So the fruit we shall get is a different fruit. Not of the downer plant part, and not the, of the upper part. So when the Apostle Paul says therefore if a person is ingrafted in Christ you, they get your life and they cut it off and they bring it to you the life of Christ. So the fruits you shall bear they are no longer fruits of the world. They are heavenly fruits. So he says, therefore, if a pers any person is in the graft of Christ, the Messiah, he is a new creation. He is a new creation. A new creature altogether. The old previous moral and spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and the new has come. Yeah. Lava echipia. Echipia. Fresh. Gamba fresh. fresh. It has come out. The old has gone because of the ingraftedness. When you are grafted into Christ, you are a new creature. And when you are because you are a new creature, the past has gone away. The new has come. There is no reason of you looking at your old past. Life. Focus on where you are. Because you are grafted. You can no longer bear fruits of the others. Life. Now the life you can, the fruits you can only bear. They are fruits of the one you have been engrafted in. That is Christ. Those are heavenly fruits. That's why the world will eat on your fruit. The world will eat on the fruit from you. And we will say for sure this is not the person we used to know. Uh, this is a new person. This is for sure this is a new person. It's not, these words not come from the same person. The nature of a person changes. The nature of a person changes outside. 
We had a visitor last Sunday here. He came with us from home and we stayed together in a service. When he, after the service, we went down. Now he knew David. And he said, Hey, David, you are and I turned and he got saved. <laughs> so let me tell you, the life we are in is a new life. The old has passed away. The new has come. Wait, the world is yet to testify of who you are. The world is yet to testify that the Lord has done great things in your life. Wait, the world is yet to testify that God has done tremendous things in your life. The world is yet to testify that it's no longer you the someone else who can testify that heaven is glad. Whenever they testify for sure this is a new person the heaven is glad. Say I'm a new person. I'm a new Christian. New, I have a new life. I possess a new life. A life in Christ. In Christ. No the other, I'm no longer the other old life. I'm a life. I have a new life. Na hindi no blamo obuja. That I possess. When ni nakakati. Tell your neighbor, Christ in me. Gamma monoti Christo Monse is a life in me. Bwebula Monse. Christ in me. Christo Monse is a hope of glory. Yes, Sylvia Christ in me. Christo Monse is a life of eternal in me. Bwebula Mobuta Guao Monse. I'm everlasting. Zenula Mobuta Guao. I become eternal. Zendi Wami Rebejo. I have Christ in me. Nina Christo Monse. I'm engrafted in Christ. Herana Sullivan and that was Christo. I bear. Herebiba Yambala. The fruits of this world. I bear the fruits of heaven. My life in me is a life of Christ. I have Christ in Christ me. Is Christ is the eternal. Christ is the live forever. And because I have him, the life I possess is his life. No, I will live forever. I will live forever. I will live forever. This body dies off. I will live forever. I will live with the Christ. In the heavenly realm, I will serve God. I will praise God. I live a new life. I live a new life. I have received a new life. That is the life of Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May God bless you so much. Mukama aba wenyo mukisa. Amen. I'm a new cre. Ndi chitonde chija. I'm a new cre. Ndi chitonde chija. I'm a new cre. Cha. I'm a new cre. Cha. Creature. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your word. I'm a new creature in Christ. We are new creatures in Christ. We are engrafted in Christ. Lord, may you change us. Increase us. We can ask. In everything we do. Lord, we choose to take away the old life. That we may receive a new life. In Christ Jesus. That we may live to testify. Of the fruits. Of this new life. We praise you. 
honor. We give you honor. We bring unto you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. Say amen. You who, is, who likes to live the old life, this is not the best place you can stay. In. Unless you are tired. And you are ready. To possess a new life. A, a new position in Christ. That's how you can live with God. And rejoice in the name of God. In Jesus' mighty name. May the good Lord bless you. I wish you the best. As we go 